Already? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right. It's been highly requested. We're back, and we got an addition to the team. Mm -hmm. All right. But we had to do a little bit of rebranding, of course. The NBA 2K crossover with my guy Jay and All City. Introdu introduce yourself, my G's. Bro, why everything that you do, you gotta act like it's the most epic thing ever. Like it don't matter. I'm going. Okay, I'm going to get some water. I'll be back. Like, bro, everything you do is the most epic thing ever, man. That's why, I think that's why the videos be doing so good because they be they feeling mm -hmm. like they're a part of an experience. So I can't get mad at it because it draws you in. So you know. It's working clearly, but it's like everything so I'm already epic. regretting my decision here, man. <laughs> I'm gonna breathe some air right now. I'm gonna take mm -hmm. a breath now. But anyway, y'all know who I am, man. <laughs> you can't watch brute videos without seeing me running around in the background, standing in the corner. I'm that guy in the corner that don't never miss. Or is that mm. Gambit? It might be Gambit, but <laughs> we're not not this year though. He's missing a little bit. He's back though, but I'm the guy in the corner that plays defense and, and get carried by brute every Every game, man. That's me, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Though I have not been to the barbershop in like six years, but I clean. <laughs> What's good, y'all, man? And you already know, all city here. We finna get it popping. The 2K crossover. So on you, Done group. No. Done no. So we got some hot topics to discuss, of course. And I want y'all opinion. We gonna start off with City, man, because I know you got a lot to say about this. The shooting changes. What's your opinion? We got to talk about this, man. Because Mike Wayne, he said pretty much there is no RNG in there. None. None. But I know you got a different opinion, a different stance, man. What are your thoughts on that? Ooh, do we got so much to talk about with shooting, man. <laughs> we, I think the folks that were tuned into the live stream knew. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mike Wayne did say there is no RNG, right? And it's all skill-based. So we were going over the numbers and everything. And from what we found out from two, the good folks over at 2K Lab was that we, we currently in 2K24 have a 30 second, 30 millisecond green window for 2K24. In 2K23, it was 49 milliseconds. Yeah, almost. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, remember, we, talk, we spoke about that. I mm -hmm. told you all like, how much we were playing. I felt like the green window was way smaller, for real. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So we, That's not all. Right. That's not all, back, though. They put out that, uh, what did they put out mm -hmm. yesterday? They put out that bell curve graphic, and I was saying, yeah. I was like, I was like, that green window is almost cut in half. Like, if you mm -hmm. understand how, how to look at the bell curve, it looks like it's yeah. about the same. I was like, no, nah, that's almost half. But uh, continue, my Yeah, guess. but that's not all. Because yeah. now, not only is it smaller, it's mm -hmm. much later. So last year, it was at 501 milliseconds, where the start of your green window. <laughs> Uh, will begin, and this year is at 605 milliseconds where your start of your green window begins. Mm -hmm. So now we take all the information we got from Mike Wayne yesterday where he said he's tuning your green window <laughs> so that <laughs> so that you, he could uh, you, we could get more realistic shooting percentages. Now, right. I ask y'all, I ask y'all one thing. What do you consider tuning your green window if they're trying to bring shooting percentages down from what we're accustomed to as 2K players, what would you consider the word tuning? I feel like they just, I feel like they flat out moved mine. I'm not gonna lie to you. We were use, me and Brute was using the same base. Everything was fine. Didn't miss over the weekend. Monday patch drop, boom. Both of us changed the base. We're like, can't can't use it anymore. It's 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 completely broke. And it, and we were both on set point though. I've seen some people say that they on they're on uh push. And I actually changed the push. I was labbing push earlier today. I seen Fancy. He's not missing at all. He said he changed to uh, release. I can't go mm -hmm. that late. But I did go to push and just watch mm -hmm. my hands. And it is, uh, while set point is easier timing, push is far more consistent. So it's almost like how it was last year. It seems like where, where what, uh, I, I don't know, what it was very early? Very early was, was an yeah. easy timing. But you would miss a lot when shots, you know, shots that you felt like you just shouldn't be missing. And then, mm -hmm. so we moved to early. But this year, it feels like that uh, that set point is the one that's very inconsistent and push and release are far more consistent because I, I watched Anonymous shoot and I know he's on very late. And I think uh, Jared, Jared's twin, he's on very, very late or whatever. And both of those, both of those guys are very consistent. But uh, I, I just can't go that late. I, I have to be on push. But push does seem to be far more consistent. Hmm. Really? 
with me, well, someone got a theory. One of my um, supporters, they said the problem is they probably put those thresholds a little bit too close to each other. Hmm. So they said, and I think so as well, man. I ain't going to throw you. I've been testing out a lot of these different jump shot timings, and right. it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. It Last year, it wasn't as annoying. This year, it's really annoying because the room for error is so small once you switch it around, once you keep moving it around. And I have to go with them on that theory. I think they probably did some miscalculation in terms of where they're setting those points at. Right. Because mm-hmm. last year, okay. I think, I don't know how how many milliseconds apart, but let's say if it was 30 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds apart last year, it's like it's like 15. Like they, they're really close. And so like mm-hmm. last year, it was here, then here, then mm-hmm. here, and mm-hmm. then when it's going. And now mm-hmm. when they show the video, I think... Uh, I think it might have been a brute video when when he showed it. It was like everything looked like it was right at the yeah. head almost. Yeah. 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 So I think that's part of the problem as well. Right. But my, no, my, my biggest question is, they said there was no RNG in it, but how can you how can can you hold the percentages down with there being no RNG element? Because that would it, it that would mean that if you just make the green window smaller, we will all adapt. We will all adjust. And I'm going to be able to hit it every time, almost, if there's a pure green window. I should be, I'm, I can figure that out, right? From 50 milliseconds down to 30, I, I could probably hit that still almost every time because we got some people that are shooting high percentages. But then when you're wide open and you get that one thing, you know, I hit that right. And then you just still miss. And they're saying that there's no RNG element. I feel like there's more of an RNG element this year than, than, than any other year. Now you can hit not, you can be consistent, but I'm seeing even guys that play the game 24 seven bullet Quavo, some of the best yeah. shooters out there. And you'll see them, even though that there's, even though their shot progress, you know, their uh, percentages, they'll get to 50% by the end of the game or 70%. But when mm-hmm. it starts, kind of you'll break. see, yeah, you'll see 13, 12, and then, you know, they'll start hitting and then they're fine. Can I, I have a theory of what's going on uh, because Mike Wayne did say he's tuning your green window and that's the variable he's choosing to use to determine how to lower field goal percentages. Yeah. Right. So if, in my opinion, if he's tuning the green window, I imagine that shrinking the green window. So it's harder to hit the middle make. Now remember, keep right. in mind yeah, that within your green window, you have percentages. So there's yeah, a correct. middle make. There's yeah. early, which okay. early dropped down like a good 40% from it what I understand. Did. Definitely yep. did. So, so you have early percentages, middle make, and then you have late percentages. Now we're working already with a smaller green window, right? 30 right. milliseconds compared to last year. If Mike Wang is tuning that, then he's making it even smaller, which means right. what? 20 milliseconds okay. you're trying to hit? So now within 20 milliseconds, you have an early percentage, a middle make percentage, and a late percentage what we got well, here. Yeah, who's who's hitting, hitting that middle right make? At, yeah, Hold, you're not hitting one, right at 10, you're not going to make One more thing, one more thing to add to that, just so we can continue to elaborate on this topic. Your target millisecond mark for a green window has now moved. Yeah. So within 30 seconds, within 30 milliseconds, you have a target millisecond to hit a green. When they shrink it, that new target gets moved over. Imagine a timeline. It's going to slide over, and you got a new target. And we don't know if it's going to gradually slide over yes. as your percentages, or is it static and it's going to go from one set to another. So is he actively tuning? Is mm-hmm. he actively tuning, or is it just mm-hmm. tuned and it's just there? Or is it every patch or every time we see update required, it might have moved no. over a tick? Mm-hmm. This is why I'm annoyed at these things. Cause mm-hmm. I don't like all these numbers. I don't Thank care you. about all these. Thank I like you. it simple. Okay. Right. I hate all this conversation about <laughs> all that shit. I'm there to play basketball, man. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. Man. Imagine paying to go to math crazy. class. Like, I, what, I, what the? I hate all of that. I mean, we, we went. We went to college. I mean, we did pay to go to math class. Well, well we're, we're expecting <laughs> entertainment. Well, we're expecting entertainment, and now we got to go to math class. Well, you know what I mean? And I'm a, and I, all these for people to shoot, like for real. Like last year was so much more simple. All we yeah. know was okay, based on whatever you get variable time. All right, but at least you know where the queue is all the time. Mm-hmm. And I know I'm one of the people that. 
I'm I'm an early shooter, so like I'm I'm mm-hmm. ahead of the green. That's and so with that graph, that definitely showed why I was missing more than I felt like I should have been. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm an early green window person. So yeah. let's say if it's if it's thirty milliseconds, I'm letting go around ten milliseconds. Or so as soon as mm-hmm. I, I'm one of the people that release at the head of the green window instead of the middle of the green window. And that was, that would work for me all last year. And when I saw that graph yesterday and you just pointed it out, that really brought it home. Mm. Dang, that's why I, I missed saw it. the graph. Yeah and, I just, yeah. and I just looked past the graph because I hate all that technical stuff. Well, well, to my- I know you're all the more numbers people, especially, us, and Jay's a, you know, he's a technical guy, so I know. Right. But for someone like me, I'm like, bro, I don't want to see this. Yeah. How I do it, I find a good jump shot, locate the cue, with it within the jump shot animation, and that's why I go for it. That's why I'm a decent, really good shooter every year. Mm. But now you literally have to look at these numbers and study this yeah. stuff. I ain't got yeah. all that time, bro. Right? Nobody <laughs> got that time. Come ain't on, nobody bro. got that time. Come and on, it's frustrating. Man. It's discouraging because even if you master what, so you go to the lab. Most players they try to practice. They yeah. try to find that cue, like y'all said. Right. They go to the lab. They practice. What's green one game is not going to be the same target green marker of the oh. very next game. Or right. even you, or even where you practice, because yeah. when you go and practice true. somewhere, then you're going to the wreck. There's a slight delay now. They're throwing off what right. you practice. Your cue, mm. what you right. wear is off. So, mm. does it make sense even practice? And we know that the the shots are. And, and this is just my opinion. The shot timing appears to be significantly quicker in the wreck right. than it is in the park. I don't know right. if that's because of the, I don't know if that's because of the, like the lag in the park or the latency. We haven't even gotten into the latency yet. And oh, the man. fact that when you're in rise, you can see what, what happens in rise. You can see literally everything around you, people on three courts behind oh. you. And that's what's making everything lag. It's kind of like 2K18 was. Well, mm-hmm. But when you go downstairs, and I know that has to be the case because when you go down, there's a bowl in Rise that you can play in and mm-hmm. that, does, that doesn't happen because you can only see the walls. And then oh. there's an underground court in Rise that you can play in and you don't lag because you, you can only All see right. the walls. But when you play up top, it's like I'm looking around like there are two courts here. There are two courts over there, and every time you go up that, up and down the court, and then there's water that's moving also What's that, that we can see while it's playing. I was that, the problem. Why you been rising in the first place? You deserve that. <laughs> you deserve that. Don't tell you to go rise. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you. He's not having that problem. <laughs> he he have go rise. <laughs> I've been playing at least no delay, no complaints. Y'all rise, people. Ain't nobody care about your problem. <laughs> or two y'all, y'all had hey, a listen, choice. Man. Go rise, get delayed and lag, or go elite and play good and smooth. Listen, you chose right now. You're complaining. I don't want to hear none of that. I'm sorry. They, they I'm need sorry. to put that. They should My put that on. Put your efforts to want something else. Let we, them start. <laughs> we need to bring Shake back into the recording studio then and let him put that as, as one of the things on Rise <laughs> up there that says, but be warned, you will lag. Okay, Shake. You should have known. Nah. You should have known. <laughs> I, y'all want this amazing background and all type of big statues and shit. What you expect? Water flowing. What, what you expect? No, you only take it. Come on, my G, man. You got to take it, man. And be, all right. Oh, we going to continue this 2K doing too much theme. We got to talk about the badge the regression. We got to mm. talk about the badge regression, man. All right. Jay, we gonna start with you right now. Yes, we gonna start, start with, off you. with you, me. You like you want to talk. Absolutely. You look like you upset. I don't know if I don't know. You might like it. I don't know. What's your opinion my, on? Let me take let me take, let me take my hair down for this one here, man. Listen, as one of the only people on the planet that likes the badge regression, oh my badge God. regression, oh, and the badge boo, system this year, boo. I think that this is one of the greatest things that 2K has ever done. As as head of the Corner Sitters Association, I get to have <laughs> all the badges right off the bat, and I can only go up from there. <clears throat> and guess what? I don't use posterizer. I don't care if it regresses. I don't use what it was I don't use. I don't use a flotation device. Don't care if that regresses. The things that I do use though, relay passer, touch passer, uh what 94 feet cuz I just play defense and all of my shooting badges, they stay top tier. Why? Because I play with some of the best point hold on, hold on, hold on. Cuz I play with as somebody said in the chat the best all around point guard in the game that hits me when I'm open and I get butt naked looks and all well, I do I is just knock, I just knock I down shots. 
all day. That's so so, fact. so yeah, if, that's you're a, fact. if you're a <laughs> if you're a role player, it doesn't matter as much because the things that fluctuate they're very yeah. minute to me. It doesn't bother me mm -hmm. at all. But um, the things that I would never have gotten, like posterized, I, I actually have that this year. You know, I have those badges this year, and they're mm -hmm. on bronze, and they came on bronze from the beginning. I didn't even have to earn them. I just had them. So, so yeah, to me, it's a W because you got all the badges. Everything's good. And guess what? When I go play Rick, don't have to fumble around and move around badges. When we're in the park, don't have to go move around badges. When I go to uh, when I go to play theater and get sold by randoms. Don't have to move around badges. They're all there. They're always on. Everything that I have is always there. Now, if I lose it, I just go to my. I just go to my career. It's it's all good, Ooh, man. But I like it. Yeah. I like this yeah. system. All right, and, man. I'm tired of hearing that shit. I'm tired of hearing all this. All you know, all good. All city. Please don't tell job, me you're on Zach. daytime, man. Good job, <laughs> Zach. City. City. You know I'm feeling balance this out. Please. Hey, you know. uh, for me, going no money spent, if you guys don't know, I am going a no money spent complete annual cycle. So right now I'm at a, like a 67 overall. I have not one silver badge out there yet. <laughs> not even a silver badge upgrade as of yet. Salute. Uh, it's a tough grind. So I'm what I mean to say, as a player, I'm not feeling the effects of badge regression or, right. for that matter, badge progression. Because I'm not progressing. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so uh, there are some underlying predatory things behind the badge oh. regression and progression system that I really dislike. And for those offline players, they're more inclined to spend less money throughout the mm -hmm. year in microtransactions. Well, with the badge progression and regression system, you're going to be seeking out things like floor setters, which are only in your seasons, which brings offline players online. And if they get you online, they get their hooks into you, and you're more inclined to spend money on microtransactions. You're hitting their pockets already. Mm -hmm. Hitting the pockets already. Well, 2K <laughs> does it from every aspect, so I figured I might as well add it. <laughs> okay. so those are my thoughts on the badge progression regression system i haven't felt the full impact of it because yeah. my player is not upgraded i might have to revisit that later on down the line all right so all what right. i'm saying is you're on well, my side with it city i appreciate your support <laughs> my g it's two against one mr C brute can i call you can i mr sims can i call you but no one here gotta speak the truth okay what? i don't want to have to okay i'm tired mm. of that easy and i understand city i won't give him a pass on this one all right but mm. someone has to speak the truth i mm. hate it it's trash mm. let me tell mm. you why it's trash now i want to tell you all why it's trash right now i got a few bills of course now it really makes no sense you really look at the badges at all I spent an entire day maxing out my badge. The next day I came, bronze. they were gone. They were gone all the way to bronze. I'm like, what? what mm. What's this? I got a, a bill, a point guard, of course. He could get, his postcard is up there because it's the only way for me to get gold unpluckable, of course. Now, I use my post moves, but I don't use this as much. It's impossible, damn near impossible to get it past silver, Unless I play pure post. I hate it. I hate the system. I'm sorry. If y'all don't agree with me, I don't care. I still hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hate it tomorrow. When we come the day after, I'm going to hate it. If you don't like it, I probably don't like you either. I don't, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate the whole system. It's just them doing too much, in my opinion. I understand they're saying, yeah, they don't want to make bills overpowered or whatever. I prefer the restricted badges so at least I know what I'm getting outright. Right. Don't show me all the badges on bronze and then, I mean, they're pretty much useless. Like, come on. I can I'm sorry. Because I mean, yeah. I mean, when, when I go to my career, um, open looks just goes away. Because you're not getting any open looks in my career. Okay? Mm. That badge is done. It's cooked. It's over with. So and I, you mentioned that, like, for real, like, if you go to my career to even grind badges, you will lose a lot of important badges. Ain't yes. that some? Yeah, hmm. that is the case. That's why, I only, <laughs> but that's why I try to concentrate only on the badges that I know that I'm going to use the most and need. See, I feel like that's what the system was designed to do, and it's hard because you can't give me everything they, they or give me, give me things on one side and they then take them care. away. Huh? They just won't care. 
You don't care about all this logic and sense you're talking right now. That's who don't care. That's, that's, like, that's how it's designed to be. You're not supposed to be able. You're not supposed to be able to keep them all up. And I think that we have to detach our, ourselves away yes, from that. I don't want them all up. I just need the ones I want. You could get rid of a lot of them. I don't need to be honest right. with y'all. Right. But I want to have my post scoring that Hall of Fame for me to bully that little point guard, okay? <laughs> because I have the attributes to unlock the badge. I'm sorry, I just do. I guess. But I, I mean, don't want, that's why you, that's I don't why you want to have to post every time in the game so I could keep my badge up. Gotcha. But that, you see, exactly what you're saying is exactly where floor setters comes into play. And there's the gimmick. There's the gimmick be behind the badge progression regression system. Is they're saying if you want, if, if your play style commands a certain particular badge popping off, right? Then you're going to keep that badge at a high level because you're consistently popping the badge off. Mm -hmm. But for the right. other badges that you kind of lose because maybe you grind a different way or something like that, you have you to get play that. a different way. Like for me, like if I play with different people, I might adjust my play style. So, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? but that's where floor setters comes in. So if you have to adjust, you can keep this badge at that gold level. And you yeah. can only get that floor setter in the season. How, how it's going to say how it's going the mm -hmm. catch with Frosted is this too. You could only use it once. Once you yeah. use it on the bag, it's permanent. Yeah. So I can't adjust based on every one. Mm -hmm. I have to people in my stream all the time. I just, okay, come and play. So yeah. I'll have to adjust, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhat, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I can't always change my floor setters. It's not possible. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to end up losing some badges. Well, by the end of the year, you will have 18. So there's going to be nine silver and nine gold. But that's going to be sprinkled throughout the seasons, throughout the nine seasons. I imagine two for each season, bringing you to a total of eighteen. So you get to me I'm going to have to suffer for most yeah. of it. Yeah. That's what they're <laughs> basically trying to say. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't like match with them. No, mm -hmm. it is what it is. It, it, it just not going to my mind. Too much. It's doing the most. You know, I, I from when I look at the most fun times I had on 2K. Uh, you know, when you bring it back to 2K20, 2K17, mm -hmm. 16, 19 even, uh, it wasn't complicated, man. It, the last thing it was was complicated. Right. You just went out there. You had fun. I was primarily a park player. You knew by the end of your day, you lost track of time. You didn't realize 10 hours had passed. You know, you was on the game. It wasn't as complicated. They had they yeah. just doing the most, man. I can definitely and agree with that. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I said my position from the from the perspective of corner sitter of the year not not a point guard or anybody that has to get involved i know what badges i'm going to be using i got my player and if to me i was like i got all these ancillary badges that'll be there for me should i need them but they're on bronze and probably locked on bronze anyway but for me it's great because i get extra yeah. stuff but also like the stuff that i'm going to use it's going to be there all the go go catch and shoot go clay more Go all this stuff. It's gonna be there for mm -hmm. me all year. Ninety four feet. I'm pressing, you know, every every time. And then you get a little buffer also. So if you do max it out and then max that buffer out, I don't mm, know how many right. games you can go before right. it's gonna wear off. But buffer? Yeah, what? yeah. You get buffer. a buffer. So when you get it, so like let's say if it caps out at gold, then you can no get buffer. it to almost. They all might have patched it recently. I saw they <laughs> post on that they patched it recently. But there was no buffer, bro. I'm talking about I maxed out, work hard to max out my badges. By the next day, it was gone, bro. Like, I'm scared to go in the corner and stand now because you know I like 94 feet. Right. I love that mm -hmm. match. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm scared yeah. to go you in see, the I corner. Yesterday, so. Two games, I might lose that month. Right. I might. That I have is to see what mine like is on. You know, I, stood in, I was in the corner all day yesterday when, the, when, the, uh, right. when somebody mm -hmm. else was playing up top. So I don't know how much regression I got. I probably went down a whole thing. But at the same time, you had I on Hall playing, of Fame. Yeah, I, I probably was on Hall of Fame. But uh, you a lot. I, the max I get is gold. I want to keep my gold. I know I work hard for that. Are y'all seeing differences, like in your gameplay, when these badges regress? Are y'all yeah, seeing course. noticeable differences? Yeah, not the me, lower not me, badges. Well, mm -hmm. your because your attributes are already up there, right? Right. But for right, me, as a player, my attribute is not as high, so the badge definitely helps me get more bumps. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Yes, right. And, so and that's I'm what I'm saying. It's about perspective. That, and that's why I'm saying. That's why I keep saying it's about perspective for me, because, mm -hmm. like I said, I, I, I have to go back there because I think I had it on Hall of Fame maxed out, like past the Hall mm -hmm. of Fame level, 
And so exactly. I have to, I, I have to have tell a, you, you got a nice I, yeah, there at least. right. Yeah. I have to let you know what what it did because, like I said, I didn't play any top yesterday, and and I don't yeah. know what that badge did. But I mean, I was mm-hmm. setting screens when I went and played. Uh, um, what was I playing yesterday? I was playing with my buddy breezy last mm-hmm. night, and we went and played twos, and I'm setting the screens, and I was getting mad progression on my brick wall. So. That, mm-hmm. like I said, and didn't even have to think right. about it, didn't have to switch it up and put it on anything. I was just right. able to go over mm-hmm. there and got my progression. So I like know. it. So, because let's say you have defensive badges, right? Yeah. A few games, they put you and you just not pressing as much. You're going to, like, you definitely lose you should it. Be yeah. Punished for you that. lose it. Huh. Yeah, you should be punished for that. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it is what it is. You can't have everything your way. You know, I'm going to play with whatever system in place and still be good at it. But, I still hate it though. Right. All right. <laughs> Whoever hey. watched this know that Brood hate it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And we're going to move on now to, we got to talk about the seasons, man. We got to talk about the season. Well, I'm starting with City now. All right. See, the seasons. As someone who is, you took a stand this year, a strong stand. And I, I ain't going to lie, that's hard as a concrete. I can't do it, bro. It's I can't do it. A lot of my content rely on me spending some money. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Okay. You you know, one of the hardest things so far is wearing 2K sneakers. Why? What are those? (laughs) Why are we still in gray and white 2K sneakers? It's so unnatural, bro. It messes up my game. I think that's why I'm missing all my shots. (laughs) 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 It's the shoes, bro. As a player that wears 2K sneakers all year, every year, the 2K Bobos are the official brand of Jay Easy and the Gym Stars. I feel a small bit offended. And everybody knows me that knows me knows that those are the only shoes I wear all year, oh, every this year. This journey is hard. It's like one second they're hella bright, next second they're hella dull. It's a, it really throws me off. But uh, yeah, man, you know, um, I, I'm, I feel fortunate that I took this stand this year, especially. You know, we are like, in regards to seasons, so so I want to bring one thing up in particular, and the folks that follow me on the live streams know that that I talk about this quite often. (laughs) You know, I like the idea that the community has premium rewards to choose from as an option to purchase these seasons. I like that idea. But from the business side of things, which I don't want to get too deep into numbers and overcomplicate this issue, the business side of things is that in 2K22, the Take Two top execs made 30 million, two of them. In 2K23, those same two people doubled their bonus to 70 million. Here right. we go. We found out, by the way, yeah, we found we ended up finding out that the cost per build is going to be very similar to last year. So that's that's a plus for 2K. But add on that, add on to that the season cost. So if they doubled their their bonuses from 2K22 to 2K23. It, I imagine they're going to triple that with these seasons and level skips. And content creators have already led the way with skipping levels out there. And that, of course, encouraged a lot of you viewers to skip levels, get that mascot, get that floor setter. You see the trend here with seasons? So mm, there's, it's one side of me that likes it for the community. They could get their rewards ASAP, pull up in a mascot ASAP. It undervalues the mascot in itself, but so be it. Seasons in general, I have mixed feelings because some folks may like it. Some folks don't want to grind. They work nine to five, maybe 40 to 60 hours a week. They just want to get out there and get their due uh, for entertainment. But on the flip side of that, the business side, which I normally focus on, I just don't like what it's doing for the gaming industry as a whole, let alone the 2K community. Because if 2K gets their hands into something like this, they're going to prove to be successful. And of course, Smaller companies coming up, smaller developers coming up are going to practice the same formula to success. And that means that your kids are going to be asking you for that additional $100 just to play, play the game that they like after you done gave them the money for the, the unit sale. That's where I stand on it. All right. Jay. Hmm. Jay. As the president of the Atlanta Hawks Fan Club Association and us getting the Atlanta Hawks mascot in the very first we season. Pause, pause, pause. We we pause. How much things you are president of? <laughs> I just need to know. <laughs> <Got a lot. clears throat> I'm also standing president of the of the uh, 
<laughs> he couldn't wait that one. He couldn't wait that one. I was gonna say of the all of the all city and brute squad fan club. So if y'all want y'all fan clubs to continue to be lucrative, you know you might want to get up off your boy. But look, no, no, seriously, I am the Atlanta Hawks fan club fan, uh, top mm. super fan. So we're getting Harry the Hawk first season. And I don't have mm. to wear anything else. I don't get I don't get to get picked picked on about the 2K Bobos anymore because I'm choosing mm. Harry the Hawk as soon as mm. I can. And it's mm-hmm. free. Okay. Nice. The free uh-huh. season, I got no problem with the free season pass. Right. The things that are up top, everything up there is garbage. Nothing up there makes me want to buy it. But mm. and I have a big this this is a big one. I feel like they are going, they're just looking at it to see how it goes. They just want to numb you to the thought mm, process of buying it. And once we mm-hmm. get numb to the thought process of it's buying over. it, you're going to see stuff up there like permanent boost. You're going to see permanent arm, like mm. plus one arm sleeves. And it's going to be things up there that enhance gameplay to the point that you don't have a choice but to buy it if you like to be competitive in this game. You know, extra extra uh, badge points might be up there, something like that. Let's say if they go mm. back to the badge point system, the floor setters might be up there. They might put three floor setters up there one time. Hall, the only mm. way you can get Hall of Fame floor setters is to buy the Hall of Fame pass and be like, what? Mm. Wait, mm. so now I got to buy the pass mm. because, because that's something that I'm actually interested in or I got to go in my career and grind it and this is the thing that you were saying, the reason that it's kind of predatory with the floor setters, because if I go in there and grind something to try to get it back up, I'm inevitably going to lose something else. So now I need the floor setters so I can concentrate mm-hmm. solely on grinding this way. So let's say if I go get posterizer, right, I'm going to have to dunk, dunk, dunk. I'm going to lose my shooting badges. But when I get posterizer, I would put that on the highest level that it could be. And then I can go back and grind my shooting badges with impunity. Mm-hmm. But I feel like mm-hmm. that's something that's coming. It's on the way and we got to stay mindful of it. And mm. Thank you, I'm Sam. not, I'm not going to buy that pass unless it's some super duper fire up there. I don't know what's going to be up there. They could put up there to make me buy it. But as you stated, a lot mm. of the content creators that I heard in these spaces saying, I'm not buying it. I'm not doing it. I'm doing this. I'm mm. doing that. And then day one, boom, bought their way to 40. We already knew it was going to happen because people, mm. you're content creator, people want to see this stuff. And that's what mm-hmm. they do in the Apex community and other yeah. communities. But still, it's just like we were getting ready to set an example. And then it was like you saw the piece of, ooh, piece of candy and just abandoned all. We just threw all yeah. caution to the wind and said, I'm, I'm, I'm abandoning ship. So, um, I, I I I'm okay with seasons where they are, but I don't like where they have the the potential to go. To go. And and mm. this is two K, so we already know what's gonna happen if if it does well. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. yes. I, I ain't gonna front with y'all. I really don't care. Mm. I do not care. This is why I don't care. Years ago, I was one of the only ones who Jay. You know, we yeah. never used to pay for nothing, no, right? You, didn't. you know what the two K community used to call me all city? Hmm. I I'm not lying to you. you. Used to call me cheap and broke. <laughs> I was like, bro, if it you don't bro- make no sense. Be- I'm, 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 if you I'm broke, a gamer, bro. I'm not used to buying a game and paying to progress, but I rather yes. grind. They're right. like, nah, you broke. Get your money up. I'm like, oh, imagine, all right, all right. yeah. So Amen. I was like, yo, this is a this going to be an issue because mm-hmm. that was the time when I was actually in business school studying mm-hmm. and I saw it a mile away. What mm-hmm. we are experiencing today, that's a bar, by the way, Jay. I just want to put this out Big there. Facts. But <laughs> where's, the, where's the Don DeMarco? Do, 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 Don DeMarco. <laughs> but I saw it years ago and I was warning people back yeah. then. I was telling y'all, do yeah. not buy the VC for these bills. It's going to get worse and mm. worse and worse because that's how companies move. They put something out there, very small quantities, and see mm-hmm. how much you buy. It's all about profit margins at the end of the day. Mm. I cannot mm. blame 2K for doing what they're doing. I'm right. I gotta be 100. Right, right. I cannot blame them because they are doing what their market says they can do, what their market Correct. is allowing them to do. That's mm. what they so they got people there looking at the numbers, crunching numbers and saying, okay, so we could probably squeeze a little bit more out of them every single year in these different areas. Right. And we continue to facilitate it. So I cannot blame the business for doing what businesses, businesses do. do. Right. Mm-hmm. I cannot blame them at all. So I refuse to blame 2K. I'm looking at the people in the community and people telling me in my comment section, bro, get your money up. I ain't with none of that. 
get your money up. I'm like, bro, I am making money off of 2K. You tell me get my money up. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like 2K to build my house, bro. Like, get my money up. What are you talking about? It's not mm-hmm. about that. It's about how you could protect yourself as a consumer. I'm trying to tell y'all how to protect yourself as a consumer. And you tell me get my money up. All right, it is what it is. No, I'm not gonna buy any of these seasons. I'm not buying any at okay. all. Nice. All right. I refuse to buy seasons. I'm sorry. I, mm-hmm. I just can't bring myself to doing it at all. It seemed like a finesse. People are saying, yeah, but you get your money back. But it's you basically buying VC that you would have you wouldn't have bought. Mm-hmm. Correct. So it's you and 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 not only that, they're making you spend cash money. In other games, they're allowing you to buy it with in game currency. So if mm-hmm. you buy it once. Right. The currency you earn throughout completing the seasons, mm-hmm. you could mm-hmm. continue to buy the next season and the next season until the next game and the and and it transfers. Right. That does mm-hmm. not mean, okay. It's all about getting real money out of your pocket for in game currency. Mm-hmm. Right. There's big facts. Big now, facts. You laid it down. I don't care. If you want to buy, <laughs> gonna buy it. The company is gonna continue to profit off of us. Because that's the community we are part of, and that's the truth. <laughs> yeah, but what happens it's, to 2K, though? What happens to 2K five years, 10 years from now? Right. It is mm-hmm. what it is. Because it's, it's, it's invading gameplay. Like, yeah. that's where business, it's going. Business that's is where it's invading I think, gameplay. I think the whole microtransaction thing messing with gameplay. I hate the mm-hmm. fact that Booth is in the game and Gatorade. Yep. I hate those mm-hmm. two more than anything else. Right. Because that it? really affects your gameplay. Because I've been playing with all boosts a while now, and you know, Jay, bro, I don't even want to pay take the some, shot. Yeah, pay the like, dribble. Pay the dribble. Like, mm. For real. Like, for real. Like, boost and Gary drastically affected. I don't see anybody talking about that. People just go right. spend it and play at a loss each game. That's why I don't play park. Because if yeah. you buy boost and Gary and play park, you're playing at a huge loss. That's not how it used to be. You used to be able Correct. to buy boost and Gatorade and play park and still get a profit. So you could buy more boost and Gatorade at a profit. And right. still be able to create a bill. But it made it to the point where you're playing at a loss. If yeah. you play park. That's why I don't play park. People act like I don't like park. It's not about not liking park, but I just can't bring myself to at playing at a loss. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And the crazy thing is when we back in the day, like you said, in 2K16, when if they would have called me broken 2K16, they would they would have been right. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I, I'm super broken now. But I used to play the game. I never would buy anything, even 16 and 17. I wouldn't buy any VC. I just go and grind it out real quick and then do it. And I ask people all the time, what like once 18, when I started getting some traction as a content creator, I would always ask people, okay, I know why I am rushing to get to the park and play. What is your rush? Why do you want to get there so badly, so quickly? There's no reason for you to go out there and get your head cracked and have that 20 win percent you, it all you, like you could learn how to play the game, learn your jump shot, learn everything about the game. Then you go out there, you're better equipped. But as it stands, you go out there, you pay the money, you're ill-equipped to to create a bill or even create a jump shot or really do anything. You go out mm-hmm. there selling, and then you go selling. Oh, it must be the bill. Then you go make another bill, and it's just, just like, like it's that. like a it's downward big. spiral. And you and you said something really mm-hmm. that uh, a lot of people miss. Honestly, how long you been playing that game? Okay. To get to sixty-seven. No, to oh, get to 67? Uh, yes. since, since the released. By now, we would have maxed out all bills. Yeah. Oh, of course. Would've. Last yeah. year, my journey would have been maxed. Yeah, last okay. year. By no, now, 16 from, mm-hmm. from, 16 from 17. By now, we would have maxed out our bills without paying without any paying. Anything. anything. So they made the grind damn near. Like, you yeah. don't have to literally know life it to get to that 99. You said Whereas, Usually it would take me like a week and my bill would be good to go out there and compete without buying right. VC. So they a made day, it. A day, bro. A day. I remember oh. 2K16 on, going to the park. I saw what the competition was like. I said, oh, hell no. U-turn. Went back, spent the rest of the night grinding to 99, came back the next day, came back yeah. outside with a 99. Yeah, Come on, bro. So it, 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 didn't, it didn't take very long back then. But now, mm-hmm. like you said, it takes, you probably will be the GOAT with seven mm. championships before you're ready to come out there and play with it. Can you, whoa, 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 I didn't even think about that. You, We thought that my career adding all this stuff was really, you can't be the GOAT. Are you gonna have time to win seven championships if you're 60 Tell overall most it. of the time? Yeah. So Tell now it's that. like, you gotta buy VC just to play my career. They found a way to monetize no, you my can career. Win. You can win. Is he gonna have- you got to play as a point guard and pass the rock. He ain't going to score nothing. 
<laughs> I'm just thinking, like, how 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 yeah, you be that go? Or was the center and I mean, but, well, I mean, it take you four seasons. They say roughly four to five seasons to max your guy out. So you have time to be the goat, but but you four know, four to five seasons to max the guy out. Jesus. Yes, four, well, four to it, five. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to play the street ball. You know, side quest. Yeah. Oh, that might help be the a best lot. Route. Yeah, that'll help a lot. It might be the best yeah, route. you would think, right? I, right, I'm right. getting spanked when I say, <laughs> yo, well, I'm getting spanked. At first, I beat that disco dude with the little, the little slash of crazy yeah. dude. Yeah, so you I said, ain't gonna never maybe, be 5 0. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but the next game, and it's on the easy tier. So there's like three <laughs> tiers. I'm yeah. on the easy tier scoring four points. They're spanking me by 20 points. And I'm like, yo, of course, I can't even compete. So now I gotta go back. My career grind that out, so I'm able to compete in that. Just to kind of yeah. tell you where we're headed with this, Whoa, like, no money I spent. They really saying. like force it down your throat, yeah, pause. Right. They force it down to say, "Hey, either want to keep losing, but if you want to do this, you're gonna have to pay, Brody." Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I see mm-hmm. you on that. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. You mm-hmm. can't even get enough game, pl- get enough runs in the game, enough on court time. In order yeah. to get your VC up to a respectable level, mm. in order to earn, like that's. That's, Can that's I add insane. one more thing uh, that I noticed that the homie, um, the IGN uh, review pointed this out. Mm-hmm. I, I find myself in a dilemma where, because I, like you had mentioned, uh, like we had talked about earlier with the 2K sneakers. Yeah. On looking cool or getting my player up to par. Now, primarily right. on 2K games, you get I, I come out, I get my tattoos, I get the clothes, and I never thought about it for years. I just go out and you know you look fresh in a whole sausage yeah, party, bro. right? Pause, but but uh, you you know I'm at this dilemma now where it's just like, damn, I I can't look cool and upgrade my player as well. So right. of that course should I'd never be the it. conversation. It should never be cosmetic mm. versus right being mm. performance. Mm. It should mm. never mm. be performance should never be part of the equation, mm. right? At all. But that's the problem. Mm. I have. I don't have like they could charge whatever they want for tattoos for clothes for shoes i don't care about none of that to be honest right. they could charge whatever that's mm. that should be okay if you want to look good you pay for it all right cool but as far as the performance of your player that's what i have with you now that's when mm. it's mm. and it's crazy because they're operating in an inelastic market because they have absolutely zero competition and if they do have competition like nba playgrounds what they do they buy, buy it, it. And then mm-hmm. pretty much shut it down or let them release every two years or let their release be overshadowed by, oh yeah, y'all can release in December at the peak mm-hmm. of 2K season. You don't get the <laughs> you don't get the release in June or July when 2K is dwindling down and people are looking for some nah 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 nah. Y'all can release in in December or January mm. at the peak of 2K. So you know, buy it, mm. squash it, and and continue yeah. to move on. And it it it's true business. It's, it's unfortunate, but I mean, as you said, it, it is a very shrewd business practice. I mean, mm. I could, that's how I would do it if I, I right. I, that, I mean, that's I, what folks don't do understand. It. We're not hating. Like, I don't think any of us are hating on their business practices. We hate that right. we're the consumer within these business practices. Correct. But business, they're top dogs. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Any mm-hmm. business that you purchase from is probably doing the same thing. For yeah. you purchase where you purchase exactly. your couch, they're probably doing the same thing, or at least yeah. trying to do what 2K is successful right. at. Yeah, they can monetize. Mm-hmm. They can monetize couch hours or hours that I sat in this. Chair. We're, gonna give you, we're gonna give you this chair. We're gonna give you this chair, right? But, but to get the pillow right here, it's an upgrade, and then. The lumbar support, that's going to be an upgrade. Mm-hmm. That's about all they can do. And then if you mm-hmm. want your chair to be more comfortable for 400 hours as as opposed to 200, oh, you know, man, you gotta pay, imagine. keep paying. They Jeez, would do it if they, they would do it if they could. Mm-hmm. Of course, they, could. they just don't you have a way. Them. You yeah. can't blame them. So with all that being said, man, mm-hmm. and this is how I want y'all to close off, right? Mm-hmm. I want y'all, I want to know how y'all rate NBA 2K24. We're going to start off with Jay. Yes, this please. One. <laughs> Friday, I was giving it a ten and a half outside of the predatory VC practices. It was great. Okay. Saturday, <clears throat> Saturday it was good. And I wasn't Sunday, consider everything. No, no, outside everything. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. So Saturday, all Sunday, right. it was all good. Mm-hmm. Monday, nah, we're back to it being normal now. I feel like they flipped the switch on Monday, and it might have been in unintentional. Tuesday or Monday and Tuesday, they flipped it back yesterday. Whatever it was, they flipped it back yesterday, and we're fine. We're back to moving like we I were. Agree. All of that I agree. good stuff. Um, I... the gameplay itself, 
I would give it a, like an I give it the gameplay like a nine, eight and a half, nine. It's really good gameplay, but mm-hmm. I got to give the game overall like a six because mm. you're mm. not just mm. going mm. you're not just going to reach in my pockets and I'm going to mm. be cool with it. No, you're not going to reach in my pockets and tell me that you're reaching in my pockets and being like you're not going to do anything about it. So we're going to keep doing it and then think that I'm just going to be cool with it. I, I can't I can't do this. I'm gonna give it a six. Um, right. very good gameplay, but the predatory VC practices, I can't, I can't get by that. And, uh, I think, I think said he's, uh, last thing city said something about it the other day. Um, or he quoted the Jack bill where yes, the initial VC to get you to 85 is lower, but I don't know what the whole thing is going to be to get you to 99. If that overall thing is lower, cause if it's still in the 450 range, then their marketing team is brilliant. Because they it said is. no matter no matter what you do, people only look at the the very first initial VC that they spend to get to eighty five, mm. and that's been around one forty to one eighty, as, as opposed mm. to last year where it's like three twenty, and then it mm. might have been one eighty. But if it's three twenty to get mm. to ninety nine, then we still have the same issue. Were, but the they only thing that set off all city alarm was mm. that before we used to be able to pay for the eighty five, right? And then mm. as you grind, you get enough VC to max it out. Correct. Mm. But recently, that's not how it is. Mm. Mm. That's kind of, for last year, yeah, when you did that video, also, I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. everybody noticed something is different. For mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. For real. All right, Austin. Can't get away from it, man. Let's see how we get from, from someone who is grinding from a 60. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you might be surprised at my answer here. Uh, mm-hmm. There's going no money spent. And, and I wanted to, you know, one of my biggest issues last year is that I paid so much money and I just didn't have no fun. So that was like my biggest complaint. It was like if, if there was entertainment there, I could put value on that. But my overarching experience was that, damn, I was frustrated more than I had fun. Mm-hmm. So this year I decided no money spent. And I don't want to be long winded here, but I decided no money spent. And my goal is to find fun. Right. Right. So that's what I'm going to gauge my experience for 2K23, right. 2K24 so far on. Am I having fun? And what I come to find out is that, one, I'm losing track of time, which that's a good thing while I'm on the game. Hours are passing. That's a plus. So I got to keep it a buck here. As much as I really don't want to because of these predatory uh, business tactics from 2K, Yeah. in regards to no money spent, can you have fun going no money spent? The fact is I'm having fun out there. I'm at a 67 overall. My player is playing at a way higher expect, like it's surpassing my yeah. expectation uh, of what a 67 should be doing out there. I'm hitting threes. Right. I'm getting alley oops. I'm getting dunks on people. I got tons of clips. Things that are not supposed to be happening with a 67 overall, and for okay. most probably, but I'm running with a good team, so that's that's the difference. Yeah. you know, that's an X factor as well. So if I was to rate 2K24 solely based off my experience. Factoring everything in and factoring the future of 2K's predatory uh, business tactics and what is the impact is going to have on 2K, mm-hmm. I would have to rate it something like, to be fair, a 7.5 is my experience Ooh, right now. Okay. I say man. a 7.5 is a fair, fair experience because I am enjoying myself. That's can generous, I, man. I did not yeah. expect that. Yeah. Can I can I ask you a question though with a, with yeah. a rebuttal to what you said there? Yeah. I want to know because this is a question that I've always had. We mm-hmm. all see 60, 67s and seventy overalls coming to the park, going crazy, doing things mm-hmm. that we feel like that we should they shouldn't be able to do. I've Ooh. always had a theory yeah, on yeah. that though. The reason I've always had a theory on that is: Do you think that two K wants you to say, "Dang, if mm-hmm. my player's doing this at 70, mm-hmm. imagine if I put some money into the game and get him to 90. And then it feels like he just goes straight to pot. Everybody feels like that. Like, dang, Only I was doing veterans. good until I put the VC on Only. this guy. Now, what happened? Only <laughs> veterans know. Only Conspiracy veterans know, Jay. bro. Yo, the not, yo, we must all go through it because the veterans know. We, yeah. We've been through this process. At 75, you bring your player out, or maybe 85, you bring your player out. From 85 to 99, you look back, if you recorded your gameplay, reviewed mm-hmm. your gameplay, you're like, hold do? on, homie, I was doing that at 85. <laughs> you? Like, so why? So I, I'm with you on that. There is a conspiracy side of me, for this sure. This is not from Brute. Let the record reflect. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let the record reflect. <laughs> oh, man. Right, man. Mm-hmm. For me, um, I'm going to have to... 
because I, I ain't playing nothing else outside of my career section, of course, which I show same with both of y'all, right? Mm. I'm really enjoying my career. Nice. I am really enjoying my career. Unfortunately, as soon as I go to the wreck, because of the stability issues with the shooting and all that stuff, uh, that took a toll on my experience, right? Mm. I'm now starting to get it back. I think they fixed it after a lot of people was complaining. I think they went back and yeah. fixed something. Yeah. Trust they, me. They turned that knob and they turned Trust it back. Me. On, on Yesterday yeah. we were streaming, everybody was hitting shots. Yes. The day before, nobody was hitting shots. For real life. Slow, sluggish. Can, and, and you remember, we couldn't get it. Yeah, couldn't get no bumps felt, on nobody. Felt, and that, like it, was, it felt right. terrible. So, I'll go with a round of seven. A round of seven. Because I'm really enjoying the my career is back again. I've been asking for that for a while now. I'm a my career head. A lot of people think whatever. I'm a my career head. I love my career. Now we got purpose to play my career, right? right. That's all I've been asking for. Um, I do enjoy the street parks as well. Mm. Um, park play, eh, it's park. It is what it is. Ain't nothing new or amazing about it. The wreck is decent, but unfortunately, because of what they did with that, and the VC and season, I'm still going to have to take some points for those. I'm sorry. I, I just, right. although it's good business practice on their end, I still right. hate that it's paid to win because mm. I play with all boosts and Gatorade, right? And for me to shoot consistent, I have to buy shooting boosts. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. All right. Mm -hmm. So because it's paid to win, I cannot, and I think seven is being too generous. I'm going to drop it to a six now when I just think about it. For the pay to win factor, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I think about it, I might drop it to a five because I hate that aspect of the game. I think it's taken away a lot from the game itself. To be right. honest with you, I hate the fact that that uh, that boost and get if they remove that, I wouldn't have any problem with all the extra purchases in the game. I would not have any problems. But that boost and get it really, yeah, I hate it. hate it for real. So I will give it a five point five. Oh. Man, tough score. So we got 5.5, 5, 6, and 7.5, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. All right. And so then, any final thoughts? We are about to close it out, man. Let, let, let me, what do you got to say, Jay? If it wasn't for the drop you off community mentality and hyper competitive, Ooh. even when I'm super trash, a lot of the pay to win, a lot of the pay to win <laughs> aspect wait, wouldn't wait, even. Wait, 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 even when what's, I always say even, that again, even, I even when I'm there's. Even when they're super trash, they still want to come drop you off and play to the <laughs> all. None of the boost in Gatorade would be an issue mm. because it will be okay to just I could play people to the highest of my ability. They in 17, 16 and 17. Play oh, you again. need you need those things to beat me? No, I'm Thank playing you. to the highest of my ability already. I don't need gameplay enhancers. But then the drop you off community came on flagships mm -hmm. by flagship by those guys that came mm. up by beating certain people. Everybody feels like they're a content creator now. Everybody wants to be. They beat you. They come into your chat. Hey, we just beat you guys. Go. You click on that thing. They got at least one stream and a couple of videos. And <laughs> and <laughs> you hadn't put in the work that I put in. So obviously you're not going to get the results that I've gotten. Mileage may vary. So if it wasn't for that, I think that the whole pay to win aspect wouldn't even be an issue. But everybody wants to beat somebody. They think that like what uh, Rick Flair, you say to beat a man, you got to beat the man. It doesn't work like that in this. You got to beat the man, but you got to beat him in work ethic. You got to come out here and do this thing mm. for 15 years or 10 years or five mm. years mm. or what have you. See, th that's what they say. They don't they don't understand you beat me, but you, you'll never take my spot because you haven't been here mm. as long as I have been. Mm. And so if they will understand that and realize that you have to get your fan base, get all these things, you know, uh, behind you, and put a foothold in the community first, then mm. I think the pay to win aspect wouldn't even be a problem because people will understand by beating him, I'm not gaining anything. So not only am I not going to worry about beating him, I'm not even going to play him because I don't get anything from it. Let me just, I see you over there. I see you doing your thing. Salute to you, my G. I'm going to go play on these courts over here. Mm -hmm. If it was like that, I uh -huh. think it would be, I think we'd be a whole lot better place, but you know. Coming to the park and I'm dropping your ass off. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna get a hundred K video because of that. Mm -mm. Not really. But all right, City, what are your last thoughts? All right, man. So to piggyback off of what Jay was just saying, I want you guys to realize that you hey, we are just 
five years, the, the community has seemed to shift heavily. We are only about five years into this process of absolutely needing, and the good majority of players needing to buy boosts. It's frowned upon if you don't have boosts currently, yes. and right? So we only have five years into this process, where in 2K18, it used to be frowned upon if you to have, have boosts. We yes. used to clown them boys. Oh, you boosted up. It was a noticeable yeah. difference in right. your gameplay. You right. boosted up, homie. Get up out of here because they come into your stream and they hey, drop you up. You boosted, bro. We was talking about it. It's all good. Right. Either way, that's what you got to do to win. So now we're five years into this process. I just want us to be aware. That's all. Just be aware because if this is what happens in five years, imagine what happens in 10. If you're talking about getting mm -hmm. your money up, you're going to be the same homie who gets your car repossessed, God forbid, who's maybe, uh, you know, thinking about your home, going into foreclosure. You know, we got to prioritize things properly is what I'm trying to get at here. And we shouldn't be paying this much for entertainment. Those are my closing thoughts on 2K. I appreciate that, yo, man. I mm -hmm. can't say it better myself, man. Job mm -hmm. well done. All right, so we're going to close it off, man. All feedbacks are welcome. And make sure to follow everybody. Links in the description, man. One yeah. of many NBA 2K crossover, man. All right, so have a blessed one. Be Easy, safe yeah. out there. Peace. Easy.